Hello, dear viewers. We've known each other for many years, but this is the first time you ever came to me for counsel or for help. I can't remember the last time you invited me to your house for a cup of coffee, even though my wife is godmother to your only child. But let's be frank here. You never wanted my friendship, and uh, you were afraid to be in de my debt. I understand. You found paradise in America. You had a good trade. You made a good living. The police protected you, and there were courts of law. And you didn't need a friend like me. But uh, now you come to me and you say, Don Corleone, give me justice. Please don't ask with respect. You don't offer friendship. You don't even think to call me Godfather. Instead, you come into my house on the day my daughter is to be married, and you ask me to do murder for money. That is not justice. Your daughter is still alive. What have I ever done to make you treat me so disrespectfully? If you come to me in friendship and the scum that wounded your daughter will be suffering this very day. And if by chance an honest man like yourself should make enemies, then they will become my enemies and they would fear you. Well, dear viewers, as you can tell, I mostly have my voice back. And uh, I thought while well, I'm still like this, I do do one good Godfather impression before I um, get full functionality back and I can't do the deep bass or the, the fog anymore. Um, <coughs> a little bit sick, but I've been on hiatus long enough, and um, <coughs> I want to tell you how much a bitch it is to lose one's voice, right? First, because if I lose my voice, I have a lot to say, almost all the time, that's why I do this show on a daily basis, and I will do this show on a daily basis, because I can talk again, right, but here are the problems when I try to communicate in alternative ways, one, Everyone is too dumb to get their charades. I mean, two words, me, um, apparently goes over some people's heads. Um, also, just pointing my book cards in birdie, birdie motion. I was like, huh? I lost my voice, you pricks. Come on. If I'm doing charades, obviously something's wrong with me. Um, also, my handwriting sucks, so no doing notes. Look at this. That's the notebook where I write down all my ideas. And uh, as you can see... Um, I suspect that King Tut was brought back from the dead. Um, and then got stinking drunk, you know, on his atrophied body and his almost absent liver. And then tried to write English. It would still be better than this. Um, also, uh, as you might have seen with my uh, hiatus announcement episode, text-to-speech does not transmit my lovely tone of voice or, you know, my derision and sarcasm where appropriate. This pause half the time I can't even read the words I type. Um, programmed by Americans that don't get when you spell color properly, whatever. Um, obviously I can't just text everyone because that would get expensive because I'm not on an unlimited text plan. And it's too slow to type in my te regular text on my phone and just hold it up because uh, my phone doesn't have a QWERTY keyboard. <coughs> it's a fucking nuisance, what can I say? And, uh, well, I could whistle song titles, like, you know, I could whistle bits from songs and the people would sort of, you know, ah, that's the words, and then I would say, for instance, <laughs> Yes, and anyone in new heavy metal would go, oh yeah, run to the hills, run for your life, but unfortunately, and here's the really silly thing, most of my friends don't listen to heavy metal as much as I do, so my reference pool is almost all heavy metal, like, Huh? What's he talking about? Like, come on! It's right to the hills. It's fucking obvious. Um, right, so there's that. And um, let's see what the feature Wikipedia article is. Because I don't wish to turn my voice any further, but uh, I'm back. That, that should be obvious. Um, let's see Wikipedia. The Swimming Hole was an 1884-1885 painting by the American artist Thomas Eakins Goodrich, catalog number 190, near the collection of Amon Carter Museum in Fort Worth, Texas. Executed in oil on canvas, it depicts six men swimming naked in a pristine lake. Lovely. <coughs> this is the Victorian age. I thought they were really surprised. Oh, wait, Americans. I don't know. What would they call it in America? It wasn't the Victorian age because it wasn't Queen Victoria. Um, okay, yeah, yep, there's a lot of nude rear ends in this. I don't think I see all six of them. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, six. Um, oh, I see. It was the Victorian era, and that, and that sort of British um, suppression of sexuality was prevalent throughout the whole world, Western world, anyway. 
But apparently, guys swimming nude is fine. Bezzle don't they do it all the time. So yeah, let's paint some um, paint some nude photos just to be buck the system. Right. Anyway, to your viewers. Um. Well, my TA and I have kind of sort of agreement. I made her an offer she couldn't refuse, and uh, no, it wasn't that kind of offer, you sicko. Um. Anyway, beware Germans bearing gift. Good day.